r slash isrited, what documentary is a must see? The scene with the lizard escaping from the snakes is still the best piece of media ever recorded. It's every emotion in the span of minutes. The Fog of War, 11 Lessons from the Life of Robert S. McNamara. One quote from the movie by McNamara about his own actions in World War II. And GT, if we'd lost the war, we'd all have been prosecuted as war criminals. And I think he's right. He, and I'd say I, were behaving as war criminals. The subject matter is obviously great, but the way everything is put together makes it perfect. Errol Morris is the best at making films based on interviews. This movie also got me into contemporary classical music. Incredible soundtrack by Philip Glass. Three Identical Strangers. It's about identical triplets separated at birth and found each other years later. Love the plot twist. Great one for sure, especially if you are at all curious about nature vs nurture. Makes you wonder who funded the study and why. I went to high school and was good friends with the daughter of one of those guys. She told me her dad was going to be in a movie and I couldn't believe this is what she meant. I was expecting him to be an extra or something lol. Some of the documentaries I thought were good are. Dear Zachary. Grizzly Man. Restrepo. Free Solo. And GT, Restrepo. This one hit me hard. Dear Zachary is a must see but one time only OMG. The 7 Up documentaries are amazing. Each film in the series interviews the same group of British people. It starts when they are 7 years old and there is a new film put out every 7 years. The most recent one released the participants are 63 years old. Binging these movies is an unbelievable experience. There's something wrong with Aunt Diane. Horrifically sad. Hot coffee. It's important to watch for a number of reasons. It's about the story everyone knows about the case that was used as propaganda to persuade the average American citizen that limiting their own rights by supporting tort reform was important so sad megacorporations wouldn't have to waste their time dealing with the people that they wronged. That picture of her injuries, yuck. Don't care to see that again. Icarus. Basically two documentaries in one. Had to scroll too far for this one. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Incredible story. I always tell people about this. Surprised more people haven't seen it. The Pharmacist Doka series on Netflix. After losing his son in a drug-related shooting, small-town pharmacist Dan Schneider embarks on a crusade to bring a reckoning against the powerful figures behind the nation's devastating opioid epidemic. Just watched it? Was way more than I expected. Guy was ahead of his time in recognizing the beginnings of the opioid epidemic. Dope Sick on Hulu is a very good docudrama about the crisis. The pharmacist had the black lady doctor who was giving out all the scripts. The Jinx. Incredible series. Utterly fascinating. Although I keep hearing Tony's exasperated teacher snapping, don't let me tell you again. It's now an earworm. Him talking to himself mic'd up is Doc Gold. Class Action Park. A history of New Jersey's Action Park Amusement Park. So entertaining. Great Doc. Especially having been there as a kid. It was really eye-opening to see how that place managed to stay open so long. Man that mom who lost her son dot she had me in tears. That movie was amazing. I sat there slack-jawed, unable to believe that place was able to stay open in my lifetime. The infirmary. The Zorb ride made from plumbing supplies. Utter insanity. Wild Wild Country. The Alpinist. Yet all those recent mountain climbing movies are fantastic. Alpinist, The Don Wall, Meru. Free Solo. The Real Rock series is also fantastic and a shorter format with equally amazing footage and stories. Along the same lines, Meru. The Civil War. Link. Really, anything slash everything made by Ken Burns is worth watching. Enron, the smartest guys in the room. Touching the Void. Most gripping documentary I've ever seen. Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Not just about sushi, but about the sustainability of the fish as well as hard work. It's an ode to the dedication to craft. Grey Gardens, 1975, I recommend watching this with a box of wine, a few cats, and you'll need a sweater and scarf. You'll know what to do with the sweater and scarf when the time comes. This documentary will haunt you for years and is hilariously quotable to the people who've seen it. Definitely watch the documentary now. Parati. Grizzly Man. Hashtag Team Bear. Werner Herzog is the goat, to me. Love visions of darkness, cave of forgotten dreams especially. Dear Zachary. I am trying to break your heart. 
I watched this not long after my son was born. Oh boy was I an emotional wreck. 30 something man just sobbing on the floor uncontrollably. Fuck I'm tearing up now, just thinking about it. If you liked that episode, you must watch to catch a traitor. I used to love Frontline when it was about substance. Now it's all about politics. Muscle Shoals. Just a period of music history that I had no idea about. Act of Killing. Isle of Flowers, short, easy to find on YouTube. The Corporation. Act of Killing is a documentarian's documentary. Absolutely stunning and mind-blowing. Plus one for the corporation, especially. And there is a sequel. Crumb, 1994. I don't think there's ever been a better documentary about the relationship between art and the artist. It's also an incredible commentary on mental illness and art as therapy, but in the end it's just a fly on the wall portrait of a genius. Finders Keepers. This man bids for an abandoned storage unit and wins. What he doesn't expect to find is a barbecue with an embalmed leg in it. He sets the barbecue and leg up as a sideshow attraction at his house. Until the owner of the leg finds out. What ensues is a really interesting legal fight, who legally owns the leg. Absolutely worth your time. Winter on Fire, about the Euro Maiden protests in Kiev that led pretty directly to the current mess, but also cemented democracy and freedom as core Ukrainian values. Abducted in plain sight. Fucking buckle up if you're gonna watch this one. I've never seen a dumber pair of people than the parents of that poor girl. I was amazed they didn't just randomly pass out from forgetting to breath. Planet Earth, just to appreciate nature. Hoop Dreams. Ever since I saw Hoop Dreams as a teen, it's been my dream to do a documentary just like that one except with amateur boxers. Moving Art. It's nature and people set to music. No commentary. Simple beauty. Chef's Table. I'm just so happy with the series and what it's done to reignite my fire in food and family and culture. I don't know if this counts but... Chernobyl. Learned about it but the series really really made me feel the impact. Tickle. Just when you think you understand where it's going you're proven wrong and can't help but be invested in what is going on. New York 77, the coolest year in hell. It's about New York City in 1977. The city was in really bad shape, Son of Sam was terrorizing NYC the summer blackout and the looting that followed. But at the same time Disco and Studio 54 were happening, CBGB's had bands that went on to infamy, and hip-hop was in its infancy in the Bronx. The easiest watching documentary I've ever seen. Paris is Burning. It's about NYC drag balls in the 80s. It's simultaneously joyous and heartbreaking. It also makes you realize how much mainstream pop culture is based on what bubbles up from queer New York club culture. Absolutely incredible. Also heartbreaking when you look up the people in it. Fucking amazing movie. You can see some of the energy and music that would go on to meld into house music too. It's history not just for queer identity but also in a lot of ways cultural and music history as well. Ten Tenths movie. And Blue Planet. I can't believe I don't see this one in any of the comments. Going Clear, Scientology and the Prison of Belief. The Social Dilemma. Navalny was really crazy. Waco. It didn't do well in theaters, but it gained a huge cult following. Woodstock 2. What a shit show. Exit through the gift shop. You start off thinking it's a Banksy documentary and it just keeps changing until it ends and you realize how blurred the lines are on the commentary of the entire thing. Searching for Sugar Man. Generally any BBC documentary narrated by David Attenborough. I remember when Planet Earth first came out and it was when HD was still a relatively new great thing. Me and my friends were 19 and we were so excited to get high and watch Planet Earth on a big HD TV.